You're watching Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. This week, we're introducing Opportunity and Culture, Four Decades in England by Manmohan Singh Mihiru. The copy that we are looking at is a hardbound edition, as you can see, and this was published in 2012. This book was recently loaned to me by a friend and surprisingly I was able to have a thorough read of the some 150 pages within a couple of hours. Now partly that's down to the style of writing and the easy nature with which you can digest the content but it's also because it is replete with numerous photographs and works of art that appear on pretty much every other page. I had not come across this book before, or so I thought, having read the subject matter and now seen the cover repeatedly on my bedside table and in my uh, work bag, I've come to realise that it probably did pass across my desk a few times at events over the last few years in the United Kingdom pertaining to the Punjabi language or events that dealt with how the Sikh and Punjabi community, communities have embedded themselves here in England. Um, it should come as no surprise as to probably why I passed on picking up the book and wasn't really drawn towards it based on the cover alone. They always say don't judge a book by its cover, but when you pick up as many books as I do, unfortunately, you do tend to do that a lot. The two flags showcasing the uh, United Kingdom uh, and uh, Indian Punjab respectively made me think that this was either going to be some form of travel book or something that was just presenting geographical data about the two spaces or how people migrated from one space to the next. That coupled with a brief glance at the preface uh, and the back cover uh, made me realize that it wasn't a technical book so this is not an academic work and is probably the reason why I passed by on it. However, I am very grateful to my friend for having loaned me this book because what I have found through reading it is that it is nothing like any of those two genres that I was thinking it would be. This is in essence a personal journal, uh, almost a diary format of short essays by the author giving us an insight into the experience of somebody who grew up in Indian Punjab, uh, resented that space and the stumbling blocks that were being placed before him and his kith and kin, uh, and decided to migrate to the United Kingdom. Opportunity and Culture, four decades in England, comprises of around 11 short form essays that I previously said are more like journal entries intended to be read by other people. Uh, by the pen of this author. There is a preface that in, uh, introduces the entire work uh, before each of these essays takes root. And the format and structure of each, uh, each chapter, let's call them, is not necessarily chronological or in a narrative that always makes sense, but they are interesting reads nonetheless. Each page is dotted with different imagery that pertains to the subject matter but isn't always relevant, which made this an even more fascinating read and gave it a bit more of a personal touch that made me realize this was essentially somebody's journal essays that they wanted other people to read. It really is giving an insight into the mindset of people who migrated from the Punjab in the 1950s and 1960s and settled here in the United Kingdom. Now that's a generation that I and probably a lot of our viewers here have experienced uh, firsthand through whether it's Gordora politics or seeing people's behavior at weddings and family functions and the politics that exists. This was the first time that made me realize really that a lot of those issues are purely down to that struggle they faced of not wanting to leave the Punjab, but realizing they had no other choice. And then landing in a country where obviously they had to struggle and strive like all migrants do, but in a place where they didn't really know what it was that they were going to be fighting for, uh, as well as their own personal 
development through finance and education for their coming next generation and offspring. Uh, it was all about how much of a link do they keep to the Punjab, how they're really struggling to do that as a generation. Quite differently as the author himself identifies than those, uh, uh, those migrants who went to North America. Now this book uh, is readable within a couple of hours because there is a lot of repetition of text um, but more importantly there are reproduced letters in their whole and the letters to and from MPs were perhaps unintentionally by the author more revealing about that time period and his own personal thoughts and the thoughts of that generation than I think they intended to be. It is a book that I would recommend people who are students of migratory studies or of Sikhs in the diaspora definitely pick up and take a browse through uh, because it will provide you with that non-academic insight into what it means to be a Punjabi Sikh migrant in the United Kingdom. But we want to know what you think, so please leave your comments below and share your thoughts on Opportunity and Culture, Four Decades in England by Manmohan Singh Mahiru. Join us again for another cover to cover on our Nojuani YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a notification of a new video coming your way. Cover to cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. Mm -hmm.